Hi, this is Dr. Melissa Chotel today at the Chicago Midwinter Meeting. And there has been a lot of talk in the dental tech space about the new iTero Lumina Scanner. So I had to come over and really check it out for myself. So as we can see here, the new iTero Lumina is a significant redesign from the previous iTero scanner. Let's go ahead and talk about the positives and the negatives of some of the technology that we're seeing here. So first point is the new wand design. As we can see, it is significantly smaller, so that is a great pro for a lot of doctors and team members that have smaller hands. However, this is exactly how it's shown in the Lumina advertisement. You also have to add the intraoral sheath that are per patient and are disposable. So when we see the wand overall, it is a significant change to the design and the style. However, they have kept those disposable tips. We're gonna take a look at the scanning in a moment. As we can see here in the new style and design, there are six cameras so in scanning, you have the ability to be a little bit farther away from the teeth. So it's gonna capture a larger field of view and increase the speed of your scan. When we come down to the nitty gritty on it, when I asked today the manufacturer's retail price at today's show is approximately $50,000. However, there are some show specials. However, there is a software subscription that you'll need to support the scanner. The first year is typically included. However, it is $360 per month after that time period to utilize the scanner and the software. The sheets per patient are disposable and they're approximately $3 each at a box of 80, or excuse me, at a box of 25 of them for approximately $80. However, there's some subscription models that can help bring that price down. In my eyes, not the most environmentally friendly to be throwing them away per patient. However, we always wanna make sure that we're following all of the guidelines to make sure that it's safe for use for the patient. When you're utilizing this in your clinic, it does have the cradle that holds the wand. The wand has some magnetic components inside that have to be aligned into the cradle with the iTero logo facing towards you. If you accidentally turn the wand the opposite way, it can cause a malfunction in the magnetics that has to be reset through tech support. So there is a team training factor that would be involved here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our intraoral scans. I'm gonna begin by scanning the lower arch which I've selected in the software. I'm gonna hold the scanner with a pen grip and I'm gonna begin to scan the lower arch. One of the interesting things that I learned about the new Lumina scanner is because of the six cameras that it has, they actually want you to hold the scanner away from the teeth so that you capture a larger area. And as you can see, I've made one pass over the occlusal, one pass over the lingual, and one pass over the buckle. And as I pause it, we can see how much I was able to capture just in that single pass. So for my clear aligner cases, I wanna make sure to capture a little bit more soft tissue. The software can fill in a few of those spaces, but if we turn the scanner back on, I can easily recapture a few of those interproximal areas where I wanna have a few more data points. So as you can see, in less than 60 seconds, I've captured the lower arch. When I'm happy with how the lower arch looks, I'm gonna simply tap the upper arch on the screen. This is a great touch screen display. And I can begin with the upper arch. Let me hold this as if I'm working in the mouth. And I'm again gonna sweep across the occlusal, holding the wand away from the teeth so that I let the six cameras capture as large of a field of view as possible. I've swept towards the lingual 
and then I'm going to go towards the buckle. So as you can see, I was scanning for around 30 seconds. And I've captured the vast majority of data. If I want to capture a little bit more in that upper area, I can simply turn the scanner back on and make sure that I've grabbed a few additional areas. And we can see there where I've completed my scan. What's really impressed me about the scanner is how quickly and easily it's scanning the occlusion. I'm going to hold the wand, going to reactivate it, and then simply scan up and down and off. I'll go to the other side. I'll once again make one sweep up, one sweep down, come back to the occlusal plane and turn it off. And we can see that I've joined both the upper and the lower scans together. So as we can see from the scanner, I was able to scan the upper arch and the lower arch in under two minutes. So really a great new innovation. Itero has brought to us a new form of scanning utilizing the six cameras and moving away from the previous confocal technology that they had. This is gonna allow for fast intraoral scanning in the clear aligner space and in the orthodontic space. Again, the pros and the cons of the scanner. Currently, this is approved for use for orthodontic treatment clear aligners and hasn't yet moved into the restorative and into the dental space. So we have a piece of technology that controls one aspect of the practice. Great for orthodontics, maybe something that a general dentist would have to consider adding to their office. Again, great speed. It can cut down on chair time. However, there is a, a fairly high price point at $50,000 and those monthly subscription fees for the technology. You will have to replace the intraoral tips, but for me what I'm really excited to see is the design and innovation from iTero. The new six camera design and the sleek and small design that makes it incredibly lightweight for use by doctors or team members that have really small hands like myself. I'm always impressed to see the new innovation that's coming through in the dental space. Make sure that you follow me on Facebook and Instagram so we can keep an eye on this technology together. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Aligner B.